just she just mainly likes slinging the brush around and like uh her favorite color is yellow so she likes to use yellow a lot I didn't even know that they could see colors till I looked it up online and they can see I think like um Maybe red, because she freaks out over red. I can't bring like a red Coke box or anything in there. That'll scare her. Um, yellow and then blue, which I think is why she tries to nest in my hair all the time. Uh, well, I'm a doll artist. I've been a doll artist for several years. And when we got her, I didn't really have any other room to put her in but my work room because we have tons of cats and pugs and everything else in the house. So... Um, she decided to make my workroom her little home and I just squirrel proofed everything and they're really really um, smart about mimicking things that you do and so she'd watch me paint I work pretty much every day and for a couple hours a day it's just like a regular job and so she'd watch me paint stuff all day or um, prime things or China paint things and so she came and started kind of messing with the here you want another one? Here you go she came and started trying to mess with the the brushes, so I figured, well, I'll let her get it out of her system and let her have a paintbrush and some food coloring and some paint and let her see what it is and maybe she'll leave it alone. Well, she decided that it was lots and lots and lots of fun, so now that's how the squirrel painting started. Here you go, baby. It's so funny, like Reese's is the only peanut stuff she'll eat now because when we first got her, we didn't really, we'd never even had a rodent before. And so we'd give her peanut butter and bananas, figuring that'll like sustain her. And so now if you give her peanut butter or a banana, she's like, no, I don't, I don't want it. <laughs> she was so sick of it. That's the only thing we knew to feed her that was safe. <laughs> 